If you want to know how you can make your own flying broom in Roblox Studio, make sure that you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own flyable broom in Roblox Studio. So there's actually zero tutorial on this and tomorrow is Halloween so I thought let's make a flyable broom so you can be some kind of a witch on a stick, on a broom, whatever you want to call it and you can just fly around your map as if it's your Halloween game. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing for this tutorial. If you are new to my channel and you'd like this video, make sure you give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. And make sure you subscribe if you want to. And make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want to support me. I really appreciate everything. So without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. So, newbie, what are we going to do? I'm going to show you. So, in the description, there's going to be a model, and you want to click on that link and get the model, and then come back to studio. So, do that right now, get the model, and just come back. Okay, so now that you've got your model, you are going to go to view at the top right. You're going to click on toolbox, and you'll see this cool library of, of random stuff. You want to click on the four blocks over here, so three, two, one, click. And you're going to see all of your models. You just want to get the broom tutorial. You will see two scripts. Just click OK. And just click this away. And now you got the broom tutorial inserted into your Roblox game. So all you want to do now is drag things where they're supposed to be. Uh, we're going to leave animation for now. Because I will show you how to set up the animation I made for you guys in a little bit. So let's start off with replicated storage. And you'll see a broom event. So just drag that into replicated storage. You'll see server script service, empty script, but just put it in server script service. Same for server storage, just drag it in server storage. And start your player scripts, it's a little bit hidden, but it's over here. And start your player and then start your player scripts. Just, just, just go over there. You'll see client and just drag it over there, just like this. Just like that. And then, as you can see, also an empty script. Doesn't matter. But this is how you set it up. Um, but one thing, the animation. You will see an animation over here. You're probably wondering, newbie, what do I have to do with this? It's not that hard. So you just want to right-click on it. And you want to click Save to Roblox. So just Save to Roblox. And just name it Broom Animation, Broom Animation, whatever. LOL. Tutorial. That's what I'm going to call my Broom Animation. And now all you have to do is just click on submit, just submit. And you'll see this ID over here. So just click on this, the clipboard. So click on copy ID, click close, go down to broom anim. And just delete the anim you'll see because this this code will not work. The, 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 the tutorial. It will not work if you use my animation. It will not work. So that's why you upload your own animation. But I just gave you a little bit of a hacky way around it. So all you do is just paste it and enter. And as you can see, it will register as an RBX asset ID, which means it is a valid animation. This is all you have to do for the setup. Now we're going to be coding this, and we have to code the server script and the client script. So we're going to be doing that right now. We're going to start off with the server script. This is what we're going to be coding. Keep up with the tutorial, pause if you need to, and enjoy.
So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that was all of the coding for this tutorial. Now we have entered the recap section. So newbie, what are you going to do? I am going to be explaining the code. So let's start with the server script. Just some normal services, we need them. Uh, when the broom event gets a request, we're going to pick that up on the server. If there's no player or argument, we're doing nothing. If the argument is give broom, we will clone a broom, put it in your player, position it right under your humanoid root part, so like you're sitting on it. We're going to rotate it to the player, so that like the, the actual broom is like backwards, you know, because like the, the fluffy part of a broom is at the back. Basically that. We are going to weld it to your player so it sticks to your player. And if the argument is destroy broom, we're going to check if you have a broom just for safety. And then we're going to destroy the broom. Over here, we have a player service, replicated storage service, and user input service. We need them. We are waiting for your character. We are doing some player variables. We're getting your mouse. Flying is equals to false because you're not flying yet. We're loading an animation. If you press F, uh, then we're gonna, and you're not flying, then we're going to make you fly. We're going to make sure you can move when you're flying. And you're going to keep on moving when you're flying. And then if you are flying, we'll stop flying you. We will stop the animation. We will destroy whatever it's making you move. And we are destroying your broom. That is all you had to know for this tutorial. So let's click play and see what happens. Ah, there we go. It loads in. That is something. Good job, Roblox. Okay, so if I press F, it's going to work. So, 3, 2, 1, F. And as you can see, I got a broom right under my humanoid root part, this part over here. And I'm flying a broom now. I can move around with my mouse, and I can just rotate, and I can fly around the map. Just like a normal broom would do, you know? So as you can see, I am just flying around. You can just go down, you can go up. I want to see the, I want to see the sun. Just go to the sun. Good luck. And if you just want to stop flying, just press F. 3, 2, 1, F. The animation stops. I'm fly I'm, I'm falling down and everything resets. So I want to fly again. I mean, I'm just going to jump. So 3, 2, 1, jump, boom. And I'm flying on a broom right now. So this is a really cool add-on for your Halloween game or anything Halloween-based. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure you support me by liking this video if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want, join my Discord server if you have trouble. And that's all I had to say, and that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.